Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Now this phone is not available in the USA, so if you live in the States and you want this, you're gonna have to pick it up from Amazon, eBay, or you can go to one of my trusted websites, Clove Technologies. Now I'll leave the link for them up in the description. I co-signed that website because that's where I got my Mate 10 and Mate RS Porsche editions from. Now if you pick up the Mate 20 from Clove Technologies, you're looking at 850 bucks plus tax and shipping and handling to the USA. The total is gonna be 1,020 bucks. That ain't bad. Now on a side note, if y'all want me to get the Mate 20 RS Porsche edition, hit me up in the comments. That phone starts at 2,178 bucks. I'll leave the link for my GoFundMe page in the description. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. This phone comes in six colors. You got emerald green, midnight blue, twilight, pink, gold, and black. For the display, you got a 6.39 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1440 by 3120. Now that's 538 for y'all PPI savages. The phone is running Android 9.0 VIP, fresh out of the box with the EMUI 9.0 skin on top. For the processor, you got the high silicone Kerwin 980 and the Mali G76 MP10 GPU. What does that mean? Top of the line specs. Now the phone comes in two different versions. You got six gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage or eight gigs of RAM with 256 gigs worth of storage. Both of them have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to 256 gigs. For the battery, you got a non-removable 4,200 milliamp battery that features fast charge. Now Huawei claims you can charge your phone from zero to 70% in 30 minutes. That's ridiculous. Now for the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple camera setup. You got a 40 megapixel wide angle lens, a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and an eight megapixel telephoto lens. For the front, you got a 24 megapixel wide angle lens. You also got dual speakers, you got 3D face unlock, you got your IR blaster, you got the in-screen finger, uh, fingerprint sensor, and my two favorite features, thought protection and reverse wireless charging. Now that feature right there, that's gonna be so sick. All right, let's pop this one open. Shout out to White Shoes back in the building. Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Nice black box, giggity. This is the twilight color. Six gigs, 128 gigs worth of storage. All right, here we go. Any day now. White Shoes waiting patiently. Here we go. All right, got your Huawei card. Here's the device itself. Rah, woo! Look at that twilight color. Now let me peel this stick off. Just for that, so y'all can get that full effect. Let's get a little wipe down. Check this one out. Beautiful. Now on a side note, I missed the Huawei event, so I never seen this phone in person. And I gotta say, fresh out of the box, it looks beautiful. All right, let's see what else you get. Okay, here's your SIM ejection tool. Quick start guide, plug it and file it. Now you do get a case. Let's see what this is all about. Nice clear gel skin case, I like that. International charging brick. Here's your dongle, no headphone jack. I shoes, you know what to do with that. Get a set of headphones. Let's see if these are USB Type-C. All right, USB Type-C headphones. Let me see if I can open this without uh, getting too aggravated. All right, here we go. USB Type-C headphones. Shoes hold those down. And here's your USB Type-C charging cable. Little purple on the inside. I like that. Now, let's see. Does this have the red power button? Yes, it does. All right, so let's power this up, see if we got any juice. And we'll check out the nacho cheese. All right, shoes just bounced. That twilight color, let me wipe this down one more time. That twilight color is so sick. As we're waiting for this to boot up, let's do a little size comparison. All right, let's see if we can see that notch. <laughs> notch gang, stand up. Now y'all can see it a little bit already, but I want y'all to fully see it. Any day now. All right, in the meantime, here's your P20 Pro. 
versus the Mate 20 Pro. Let's see. Mate 20 a little bit bigger, but so beautiful. Let's see, here's your Mate RS. Now I'm really feeling that square camera design. That's nice. A little bit taller than the Mate RS. Uh, Mate 10. Let's see. A little bit taller. All right, so this is the biggest one yet. Giggity. And just for fun. Now on a side note, I love this leather back phone. I might have to get the uh, Mate 20 Porsche Edition because it has the leather on the back. This is so sick. All right, we're still booting up. Let me pause the video. I'll throw my information in. We'll check out the notch and we'll go through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes and I gotta be honest with y'all, so far, fresh out of the box on a scale of one to 10, this is my new favorite phone. Samsung Knights, Apple Mafia, I know y'all kinda mad right now. Warway Warriors stand up, we back on top. This is the new heavyweight champ in the building. Innovation, that's the key word of this video, innovation. You got your 3D face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, triple camera with artificial intelligence. Now on a side note, that is my favorite feature. Even better than the Galaxy, the Pixel, the iPhone. Whenever I wanna take a dope picture, I always pull out my Mate RS, and that's because of artificial intelligence. Daytime, nighttime, sun, rain, it doesn't matter. It's always gonna give you the best shot, and I'm gonna show you how that works in a second. You got your IR Blaster. I right, shout out to Huawei, one of the last companies still rocking the IR Blaster, trolling levels on max. You got a big giant 4,200 milliamp battery with fast charge, zero to 70%, 30 minutes, that's insane. You got dual speakers that sound amazing, wireless charge, the phone is water resistant, you got your always on display, thought protection, basically all of your flagship features, but you got the dopest new feature that I've seen on any phone yet, even better than the Bluetooth S Pen. Check this out, let me show you how this works. Watch this. Phone on the table, put another phone right on top. Reverse wireless charging. Let that sink in for a second. How sick is that? Now imagine you're on a date, fellas, you know your girl's phone is always dead, always dying. You're on a date, her phone is about to die. Now you ain't gotta go to the car, you ain't gotta go home. Grab her phone, put it right on top of yours. Your new name is Ethan Hunt. This is some real James Bond shit right here. Innovation. I, I like that. All right, so let's go through this step by step. Let's get a little wipe down. First things first, build quality. Now, y'all know I got to say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Y'all see white shoes back in the building. She knows quality when she sees it. All right, shoes, if you like this phone, keep walking back and forth. <laughs> All right, if you like this phone, just sit down right in front of the camera. All right, that's white shoes approved. This twilight color is immaculate. When the light hits this, look how the color changes. Imagine outside in the sunlight, somebody standing next to you and you go like this, they getting blinded. I RIP their vision. This phone is so sick. Let me get one more wipe down. Shoes, back up. Check this out. Beautiful. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can open up your phone. Once you lift it up, you got your ambient display. Check this out. Now, here's your always on display. You got the time, date, and your battery percentage. Now let me show you, Shoes, I'm about to file you. <laughs> let me show you how you open up your phone. Here's your face unlock first. Now if you look, you see that little lock sign right there? Let's do that one more time. This is just like on your iPhone. All I gotta do is swipe up. So basically coming out your pocket, it's gonna be like this. Hit that button, look at it, and just swipe up. Now I'll do it without looking at it. Swipe up, nothing. Now I'm gonna look at it again. Super fast, super responsive. Now on a side note, 3D face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensors. The, doesn't matter what phone you got, they're all gonna take time to learn your face, learn your fingerprint, and they're gonna get better, faster, and smoother over time. Let me show you something real quick. Now the other day I did the OnePlus 6, and I told y'all that this fingerprint sensor was super fast, and people was like, oh, it looked like it was having some issues. You gotta remember, that was fresh out of the box. It didn't have a chance to learn my finger yet. Now that my fingers learned, look how fast this is. And it works every time. Now people was getting triggered, talking about, oh, you gotta hold your finger down on it. No, you don't. 
Uh, all you got to do is tap it, opens right up. And it opens every time. Now, I've been using this phone all day. So now my fingerprint is locked and loaded. How do I know that's a fact? Because I got the Mate RS and it's the same thing. Now, Huawei claims on the Mate 20 Pro, the on-screen fingerprint sensor is 30% faster. Now, one thing I will say about the Mate RS, the fingerprint sensor, this is brand new. It wasn't the best, but I applauded them for the effort. I gave them the E for effort. Innovation, I like that. Let's try it on the uh, Mate 20 Pro. Now, on a side note again, another side note, y'all gotta remember that I'm holding the phone in an unnatural position. If you're just chilling at your house, sitting or sitting, sitting down, you're not gonna have your arms fully stretched out and trying to do something. So I'm trying to sit as natural as I can. I'm leaning a little bit closer. I would say it's definitely faster than the Mate RS. Now again, by the time I do the full review, my fingerprint will be registered about a thousand times, so it should be nice and fast. No problems with that though. But this face unlock is ridiculous, look at that. All right, so that's a couple of ways to open the phone, not to mention you still got old school status, swipe up, put your pin on your password. Just look at it and it registers your face. Love that, I, I love that. IR blaster, go to the diner, go to the doctor, go to work, go to school, wherever you at, <laughs> control the channel. Now I can tell y'all a funny story about Disney, I think I told that already, I'll tell it on my next stream. How did y'all IR blaster for trolling levels save me so many times? This is incredible though. All right, enough about me, let's talk about me. <laughs> All right, here we go, what else? All right, let's take it over to the settings. Now you got your basic toggles. All right, let's see. Um, let's put this on max brightness. You can edit these if you want. Now you got a bunch of toggles. All right, you got your Huawei Share, Ultra Power Saver, Screenshot. Let's put that on the top. I like having a screenshot, even though you got your knuckle gestures for the screenshot. But I like having a screenshot button so people don't know that I'm taking the screenshot. Let's keep it moving. Back to the toggles. Let's see any other toggles, wireless projection. You got screen recorder, all right? Galaxies, take note, screen record button in the toggles. I need that. Navigation dock, that's that little button right there. You see now, if you got small hands, because this is a big phone, you can use this to go back, use it as a home button. So say I'm in duo, go back home. All right, I, 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 I tend to leave that off. Gets in the way for me. I got big hands. I don't need that. You got eye comfort. That's pretty much it. Let's take it over to settings. Now, if you notice, I got this in the dark theme. When you fresh uh, get it first out of the box, it's going to be the white theme. I'll show you how to change that up. Let's go to display. All right. Let's see anything we need to look at. No. Um, let's go to more display real quick. All right. So you got your notch. Now, check this out. You see that? Matter of fact, let me put it on white background. Let me put it on a white background so y'all can see what that looks like. All right, so I put it back to the stock theme. Now you can see that notch in full glory. That's nacho cheese. All right, let's start over. Device connectivity, you got NFC, you got Huawei Beam, you got your easy projection, wireless printing. Let's go to home screen. You got your magazine unlock. That's on the home screen. You got a whole bunch of different themes, different wallpapers. Let's go over the home screen settings. All right, so you could change your layout from five by six to all the way down to four by six. Less apps on the display. Let's see, uh, you got your auto align, shake to realign the home screen button, app icon badges, let's turn those on, everything. Let's see app suggestions, home screen loop, let's turn that on, so this way we just keep scrolling. And you got your Google feed, we'll leave that on. All right, let's go to, uh, let's see, did we miss anything on that one? Okay, here we go, check this out. Now you also got um, lock screen signature, Let's throw something in there real quick, why not? Floss, all right? Doing floss real quick, that's on deck. Show step count as you walk, it'll show your step counts, always on display. Now you can set that to turn off and on if you wanna save battery, but 4,200 milliamps, you're not gonna need that. Just leave it on all day. Let's go to brightness for the display, max brightness. You got your eye color and comfort, if you want. Leave it on natural tone. That kinda gives it more of a yellowish hue, 
If you take it off, it's gonna be straight bright white. You got your color mode and temperature, normal and vivid, leave that alone. Eye comfort, if you want, turn this on at night, gives it that yellowish hue. This way you don't get blinded when you're checking your Instagram DMs in the middle of the night. Sleep after five minutes, we'll leave that to 10 minutes. Let's see, screen resolution. You got HD all the way up to WQHD, or you can put it on smart resolution. Again, to save battery, not gonna need that. Just leave it on max. You paying a thousand bucks, enjoy this. All right, let's go to sounds, ringtone. Look how loud this is. Real dual speakers on deck, media alarms, we'll leave that alone. Let's see, uh, <laughs> leave that off. All right, let's see, anything else? Let's go to notifications. Anything we need to look at? Nope. Let's see, battery. All right, so you got performance mode, you got power saving mode, and ultra power saving mode. Now, think about this for a second. If I put this on performance mode, all right, we'll, we'll leave that on. Check this out, you see how the numbers change? Now, power saving mode as is in performance mode, I still got 20 hours and 25 minutes left. If I activate ultra power saving mode, 97 hours worth of battery left. That's kind of crazy. Battery usage, check all the apps draining your battery. You got consumption details, darken interface colors. Now I always do this. This is a little trick right here, it just looks better, but this in itself saves you a little bit of battery. Wireless reverse charging. That's what y'all see me do. Turn that on and wirelessly charge another phone from this phone. Now one thing I noticed, it doesn't stay on. Once you wirelessly charge something, take it off. After a couple of minutes, it automatically turns itself off. Now that's kind of cool too, so just in case you got your phone down on the table, somebody else's phone on top, you don't accidentally wirelessly charge anybody else's phone. Shoes, calm down. <laughs> All right, calm down. All right, let's see anything else. Let's go to uh, storage. All right, you can clean this up. Increase your performance. Let's see anything else. <laughs> Shoes. All right, let's go to, uh, let's see, digital balance. All right, screen time management, smart assistance. Now here's your one-handed uh, use, ladies, small hand fellas, one hand use, motion controls. All right, so you got flip to mute. Say so you get a phone call, flip it, automatically mute. You got pick up. Say so you're looking at a text message or you get a phone call, just pick up the phone, raise it to your ear, not you shoes, raise it to your ear, it'll answer the phone call. Screenshot knuckle gesture, y'all seen that? Draw a letter to open up certain apps. All right, so check this out. All right, now from this screen, I could draw the letter C, that'll automatically open up the camera to my little crop. Now I could uh, edit that, save it to whatever you want. Let's try one more, let's draw the letter M, open right up to music. All right, so that's a nice little touch right there. Let's see, you got your knuckle gesture for split screen. Let me show you how that works. So say I'm in YouTube. Shoes, I'm gonna need you to back up a little. Say I'm in YouTube and I wanna do a <laughs> I wanna do split screen. I just I just hit the knuckle. Hold on, let me do Yeah, this one takes a while to get used to. Is it on? Let me make sure I turned it on. Let's see. Um blah 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 blah. I know live video struggles, y'all bear with me. Where was we? I'm having a brain freeze. All right, here we go. Here, here we go. Where was it? All right, smart assistance. All right, smart assistance. Let's see. Uh, motion controls. Okay, split screen. Knuckle gesture is on. All right, so let's see. Now, this is one thing. It always takes a while to learn how to use this. There it is. Draw the knuckle like that. Now I can open up Facebook. Have two apps at the same damn time. All right, hold up. Let me put my... Information on blast shoes. All right, shoes. I gotta follow you to the side shoes because you doing the absolute most rock. Okay, no cats were harmed in the making of this video. All right, so there's your split screen. Exit out of that if you want. Keep it pushing. All right, let's go back to settings. Let's see anything else we missed. Let's see uh, where was your smart assistants. Okay, you got your voice controls, smart cover, just in case you get that case, the S view case. Turn the smart cover on, you'll be able to see all the information through the case. You got glove mode, all right, in New York City. It's hoodie season. It's about to be Santa Claus glove mode status. Turn glove mode on. You don't have to take your, your hands out of the gloves in order to touch the screen. It increases your responsivity -ness. All right, and that's pretty much it. System software updates about phone, EMUI 9.0, Android 9 VIP. All right, let's, so let's take it over to the 
YouTube real quick. Let me show y'all what the, uh, <laughs> let me show you what the screen and the speakers sound like. All right, so I just pulled up one of my old driving videos so we can see the display, listen to the speakers. This on Max. Cover up the bottom speaker. You still hear it from the top. Beautiful display. Let me pull in some music real quick. All right, so let's take it over to Bike Life. Listen to these speakers. Cover up the bottom. You still hear the music from the top. This is so sick. Now I will say, the iPhone speakers are probably louder. So are the pixels, but these ain't no slouch. Now there's one thing I forgot to show y'all, check this out. Let me go back to settings. Let's go to display. The whole reason I changed it from uh, dark to white, I wanted to show y'all this. All right, so let me show you how the AI camera works. You see we got a picture of white shoes. Just gonna open up the camera, point it at shoes. You see it says cat. It automatically knows that this is a cat and not a dog. And that works for everything. Say you're taking a picture of some food and you got some lettuce on your plate. It knows the difference between green lettuce, green trees, and green grass. Daytime, nighttime, doesn't matter. You're always going to get the best shot. This is one of the best cameras out. Let's see you got your Google Lens. All right, this is, it has a different name, but it's basically Google Lens. I right, will identify. Let's see if this works. Cats. Now you see it says cats, and it's kind of like AR. That's pretty sick, I gotta play with that. You got your motion photos, you got standard vivid smooth colors, go to settings, all your different resolutions, you can add your watermark, master AI. If you leave that on, the artificial intelligence is always gonna be on. You got your grid, mute, timer, audio controls, ultra snapshot, smiles, capture smiles, this camera is just insane. Matter of fact, let's do a quick portrait mode, point and shoot. Let's see if we can blur out some of this mess in the background. All right, here we go. Hit OK. Now, there's the raw picture. Let's go to edit. Let's go to blur. And we can add maximum blur or minimum blur. All right. That's maximum trash in the background. Blur that all out the way. Like I said, this is my favorite camera. Now, I know I'm making this video a little bit long. Is there anything else we need to talk about? Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. One more thing. Thought protection. Now, let me show you how that works, and I'm going to do it big this time. All right, so here we go. Here's your classic Huawei thought protection. This is how this works. Grab the phone. I'm going to open it using my regular fingerprint. If you notice... I got the black wallpaper, Instagram. This is my Instagram. Facebook. This is my Facebook. Let's go to gallery. That's the last picture I took. Close the phone. Now I'm going to open it up using my left fingerprint, also known as my thought print, and watch what happens. Now if you notice, different color background. Check this out. Instagram, no Instagram login. Facebook, no Facebook login. Tinder, my scumbag activities, have them on file right here. Let's go to camera, no pictures taken. Phone is fully thought protected. I can leave it on the table, minus the Tinder, and rock out. Now, when I come back, close the phone up. We'll open it again, this time using my right fingerprint. Back to my regular phone. Let's go to Instagram. All right, there's my Instagram. Facebook back on deck. No Tinder. And the last photo that I took. Every phone on the market should have that feature. This is so crazy. Now I can make this video two hours long if I really wanted to, but I gotta save some stuff for the full review. But like I said, so far, 
fresh out of the box, on a scale of one to 10, this is a major, 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 major go. That's a quad major. This is my new favorite phone. And when that Mate 20 Porsche edition comes out, it's game over. Yeah, I know I gotta get it. Help me out, go to my GoFundMe page if y'all wanna see that review. We can do this together. Anyway, this is the Mate 20 Pro. Let's drop the case on real quick. See what it looks like. Y'all seen how fast that face unlock was? Now, <laughs> the case is a fingerprint magnet, but it does fit nicely. Got a little bit of razivity on this one. Let's try that again. Look at this. I could do this all day. On-screen fingerprint sensor. Again, now check this out. You notice it disappears. As soon as you wave your finger above it, it lights up. I don't know if y'all can see that. Well, watch it disappear. When I wave my finger, it comes back up so you know exactly what to press. It's game over. All right, I was about to get out of here, but I got to show y'all one more thing. IR Blast on the top, smart remote app built into the phone. So now I can add a TV, air conditioner, cable box, a camera, some Wi-Fi routers, DVD player, a projector, and you could customize this to add products that are not listed right here. Now I tried this out on a Samsung refrigerator and it worked. I can press the button, start making ice right from the phone. This is so sick. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Street Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I'll see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, Close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss on Mount. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're going to take a look at the Huawei Band 3 Pro.